Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make a drop track in your coaster. Now, what's a drop track? Well, the name already implies it. So the coaster vehicle uh, or the coaster train arrives at a horizontal track where it stops. And then uh, it will, the track which it sits on will actually drop down. Now, there's not really a, a good way to make a dropping track without using uh, custom uh, vehicles. But at least uh, you can sort of emulate the vehicles uh, dropping down to a lower level. There are actually two ways to do this. Uh, you can either uh, do it uh, with the train going forwards or the train going backwards. Now, this uh, trick will actually look nicest with uh, f vehicles that don't have sprites for a vertical track. So, all the trains that don't loop. So, for this example, I'm going to use the mine train coaster. Okay, um, I will just make a station and then afterwards I will only make a drop track. So, um, let's just make a station here. We'll want it to be uh, quite high. And this will be the forwards example. So um, let's say we want to have a drop track here. Uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, add some brakes. And here I'll uh, make a little ramp. And the ramp makes sure that the train will roll back after this. Okay, um, you can always uh, hide this part of the of the track if you don't want a ramp at the end. I think it looks nicer if you actually hide it. Okay, um, what we're going to do now, well, we obviously want the train to drop down here if we want to make a drop track. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I will change this ride. Uh, I will enable the allow arbitrary ride type change. And we're going to change the ride into a vertical drop roller coaster. Okay, then I'm going to m remove this track here. And from here, I'm actually going to build downwards. So we're going to make a vertical track here, like this. And here, immediately at the bottom, I'll make some, uh, again, make some brakes. Now, the vehicles will not fall straight down here, um, but it will be sort of... Uh, this. I think this is the most vertical you can get. Obviously, it will look more vertical uh, if you... Uh, make the drop higher This this is already 15 meters. So it's already uh, quite a drop they're making here Okay, now I'm building this I'm going to uh, build this track piece here again And then I'm going to repeat this uh, for the other track pieces Now, how long you make this uh, drop track uh, really depends on the length of your train. If you train very long, uh, you may need this part of the track to be longer. Okay, I'm going to make uh, a little uh, upwards, a little ramp here as well. And that's just to make sure that uh, when the coaster leaves this drop track, um, it can go forwards again. Now, when you have a backwards drop track, so the train arrives backwards, it's easier to uh, uh, yeah, let the train leave the part of the track here again. But uh, if you do it like this, you'll have to let the train reverse and go forwards, or you'll either have to find a way to speed them up uh, in this direction again. Okay, I'm going to remove this track here. And here I'm going to make uh, some boosters just to uh, give the train some speed again. Or you could use a chain lift for that if you're, uh, the track you're using doesn't have any boosters. Okay, I've changed the track to Giga Coaster Track now. As you can see, all these vertical pieces are now invisible. So. Uh, yeah, that means I have to do less than if I were to keep using the mine train coaster track. Now, there's one thing you'll have to make sure of here, and that's that you did the merges uh, correctly. And of course, that uh, all your track is uh, connected here. So, uh, what you'll want is for the 
downward track piece, downwards leading track pieces to be below the straight uh, track pieces. Because when the train goes backwards here, you'll want the trains to follow the track leading downwards. So, for example, if we look here, um, this one is the straight track piece. This is the downwards leading track piece. Uh, the downwards track piece is below the straight track piece. So when the coaster goes backwards, it will follow the track leading downwards. So I'll ju I'm just going to check that for all these track pieces. Now here at the bottom, we'll want the train to uh, follow the straight track leading out of this uh, out of this section. So here we'll have to make sure that the straight track pieces are below the vertical track pieces. So for example, here we see this uh, piece over here. You can see the straight track piece is below the other track piece. If they're not in the right order, just uh, switch them around like this. I may need to move this one back a little bit because we need the full train, of course, to uh, be on this uh, on this horizontal section. All right, now um, the track is obviously no longer a full circuit, so I'm just going to put it in uh, powered launch mode uh, without. Uh, I'm just going to put it in powered launch mode without a high uh, launch speed. So let's do show all operating modes. Let's put it in powered launch without passing station. Let's unlock the operating limit so we can set the low speed. Ah, let's launch at 6 km per hour. And let's see uh, how the train does in the in the drop track. Right, trains come almost to a complete stop. Here there's the little ramp. And here the train drops down onto the drop track. So yeah, if you can uh yeah, it, it will look better if if you uh, if you can get the train to be uh, slower here because then it means it will uh, less of it will be on the ramp. Um and also it will look nicer probably if uh, all your trains are uh if your vehicles are a bit longer, because then uh, there will be less vehicles on on each of the vertical sections. Okay, now the train goes forward again, and here it will be uh, launched, uh, or here it will get some speed from the boosters, and it will continue on the rest of the track. Okay, this is the forward, uh, or the yeah, the drop track where the train goes in uh, f in a forward fashion. I will now show you the same, but uh, with the train uh, arriving uh, in a backwards direction. I'll first quickly show you what it looks like uh, w when we use the Giga Coaster track. So now the vertical tracks are invisible. Here you can see it go up the little ramp and here the train drops down <laughs> It looks kind of silly, but if you decorate it, I think it will uh, look nice. All right, now just going to make the backwards version. Okay, so the train will be going backwards here. Basically, it's the it's the same idea. So now I will just uh, build some vertical sections going downwards, and after that, the train should leave. Uh, should be able to leave uh, while going forward. Alright, now let's give this uh, ride a little test. Okay, here it arrives at the brakes, going very uh, slowly here. 
And then here it should go through the drop track. There we go. And here it gets boosted again. All right, perfect. Now, um, when you make a drop track like this, uh, you can also uh, choose to decorate it. <laughs> you probably should. So, uh, okay, you decorate a track like this. Well, usually what you see in uh, one of these rides is uh, like guide rails to actually guide the track downwards. So for this, um, I'm just going to give a very simple example. Well, you could use some of these uh, tower elements next to the track. Or you could, for example, use some uh, inverted impulse coaster track. Let me quickly uh, make some of it. Now, what you'll probably also want to do is uh, hide these uh, supports here. It doesn't really make sense uh, for a track to be able to drop down if there's a support under it uh, holding it in place. Make sure the order of the track element is still correct after uh, doing this. Hope I not, don't make it crash. Oops, it seems I messed something up. So just make sure to move all the track elements under uh, under the surface when you do this. And you might want to hide the track elements that are under the drop track. So there's a lot of things uh, you can do to make this uh, drop track look nice. Now, from a RCT2 standpoint, um, it might be a good idea to make sure that uh, the drop track is actually visible to people watching the park. So instead of hiding it in away in a in a building, it might be nice to make a cutout in the side. Just so it uh, is visible to uh, people who are watching the park. I'm just going to build a little uh, simple wall behind it. Now, there are many ways you could still decorate it, and I just put some of this reverser track under it just to make it look a little bit more uh, sturdy. But yeah, um, how you do this is really up to you. There are so many possibilities to make your drop track uh, look nicer. Something you could also try is uh, giving it a different color than the rest of the track. So let me quickly do that. So yeah, there's lots of uh, possibilities to make it uh, look even cooler. I think a uh, drop track will be a really nice uh, addition to your uh, coaster. Let's also hide this little track piece here at the end. Okay, um, yeah, I hope this uh, tutorial is useful for you. I hope to see some people uh, build a nice drop track in their coaster. And I'll see you again in the next video. See you later.